Hello, Z3 Warriors. Uh, today is a rainy day in Southern California, and I'm sitting under an umbrella, and I'm getting all wet. So this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't willing to sacrifice working in my outdoor office studio here. So um, today we are in our first module uh, about smoothies and uh, some superfoods. And I'm very excited today to talk about a product that I really love. Um, that is just the quality is so superior. Uh, it's actually mind blowing how, how clean and how nutrient dense this product is. And, um, I'm also excited because, um, this is somebody who I really believe in and somebody I know their integrity and their heart and their spirit is just an amazing person. So I want to introduce to you, Jeffrey, um, we'll call him Jeff cause that's the name of his product, but, um, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Von Stetten, and he's the owner of Jeff's best hemp. And um, Jeff, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, you're very welcome. Very glad to have you. I've known Jeff for several years now um, and actually watched the beginning of the product development and the whole thing. I know it was in the makings for a long time, but uh, when it actually comes to fruition, it's pretty cool to watch. Um, yes. so, and I know it was a lot of hard work and everything. So we want to get, I'm going to get right to it today so that you guys can just get a quick um, inside glimpse on how great this product is. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of them really quickly um, that I use a lot and you're going to see in our smoothie kit. This one is the raw fiber, Yay. raw super fiber formula. And hemp is a superfood. And we're going to talk a lot about that. Uh, superfoods are very set apart from regular foods because they have lots and lots of nutrients, lots of different components to them, um, and you get a lot more in a less. So, and this is the hemp seed protein. Um, and we're actually going to talk about why it comes in glass. Uh, I love learning about this every day. Uh, I learn something new from Jeff too, so it's awesome. And um, Jeff, there's also a, um, uh, a hemp seed oil as well. And a lot of the local stores, Whole Foods, those guys carry it too, which is awesome. If you happen to be in an area that you can't get it very easily on all of my modules and all of our PDFs, the link is there that you can go directly to Jeff's website and order it as well. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because Jeff has it set up amazingly. It's so easy to order from his website. It's crazy. Um, it's just seriously, it's nobody else is doing this kind of stuff. And then um, the other thing I want to mention is that you have some amazing soaps, uh, amazing skincare stuff that sometimes it gets missed if you don't know that you carry it because I'm looking for right. hemp, hemp products. I'm not looking for soaps. And um, we're going to have a module on um, body care and that kind of stuff as well. So um, I'm going to mention it again there, but I just wanted to put it out there right now. So you can actually go to his website and see the full line and know what's available. So Jeff, um, give us a little, a quick blurb on why hemp? Like, why is it so good for us? Uh, you know, it's just very nutrient dense. It's very well rounded. Uh, Human beings and hemp have this massive long history. It's as long as there's societies you can find, uh, you'll find hemp pretty much located with it right along the very basis of, you know, all the old school stuff of flax and rice and hemp has been there for just thousands and thousands and thousands of years. It's, it's set up just right for people. The essential fatty acid profiles are um, ideal for for mammals. The uh, The mineral profile are ideal for people and the types of primary nutrients that you need. Um, the types of proteins are some of the, the most easily absorbable styles of proteins that you can actually get. They're Edison albumin proteins, so not only do you get a, a, a classification of protein that's very easy to absorb, but you're getting something that's a dual burn. It's not a singular protein. So um, for, for people that are really looking for things that nurture their muscles that are great for an active lifestyle for people that are kind of out and about that's that's your your big buddy right there you have one that burns really quick with almost zero enzymatic drain just almost nothing and one that kicks in a little bit slower and um, you know that that naturally occurring style of protein is what later on uh, way back if you if you go back to the early starts of some of these early uh, way based drinks that are I don't know I probably shouldn't say the company names but they have like three or four different styles of whey protein that are in them concentrate caseinate isolate that entire philosophy was all based on what the hemp seed had naturally occurring um, but they mimicked it they mimicked it with very easy to obtain uh, and 
very inferior <laughs> dairy based. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's no there's no comparison to the yeah. quality. And we talk a lot about in in my program. We talk a lot about the difference in protein. And our society has made us think that we have to be pounded with animal protein in order to get the right proteins, or somehow we would be deficient. It couldn't be any more polar opposite. Um, right. When you're actually doing proteins that are bioavailable to your body, that your body doesn't have to do a ton of uh, work to break it down and digest it. You're actually getting more of it. So the, again, you know, I, in most of my program, everything is about getting a lot more and a lot less. Uh, you know, we want maximum impact with minimal effort. Uh, hemp is definitely one of those. I like hemp because you're not just getting the protein, but you're also getting the fats in there. And uh, it's very hard nowadays, really, for people to get enough essential fatty acids. So to me, that's a twofer. You know, you get really a a, uh. a great great benefit there. A big um, uh, a big, what's it called? Like packed power <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> that work. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, <laughs> is there any other, and I know it has a full amino acid profile, but is there any other real um, specific nutrients that, that we're getting from hemp? Well, you know, the thing, the thing that I like so much about what's naturally occurring, say like if we're talking about, um, say with the protein, if, if we're talking about that as something that's being included in a diet in the basis for at least um, what we classify as the standard American diet, or, or SAD for short, um, because it is SAD, uh, very deficient in so many different things. Um, the things that I love so much about it is if you look at the three, some of the three greatest deficiencies, or deficiencies or imbalances, I guess is a better way to say it. Um, you have massive magnesium deficiency, you have a massive clean phytoprotein deficiency, and you have a high incidence of blood sugar problems, diabetes, anything that's kind of related to that. And the three things that the seed has naturally occurring uh, in it are, uh, you know, magnesium and potassium. So helping people to be active and helping them to have magnesium in their healthy fats and uh, an easily absorbable source of phytoprotein. So when you're talking about what's out and about, what's out and about in the world, the greatest efficiencies, the epidemics of health. This is a one single source that helps to cover the three most uh, yeah. you know, prevalent uh, illnesses, imbalances, anything that you want in society. And I, I think that there's a direct correlation in the rise in those imbalances and the removal of this as a source of nutrition within the U.S. If you look at the years and you look at the the way that they correlate, they're almost they almost go hand in hand because there was right. nothing in place that they had to look for other things. So yeah, really, I really dig that. Yeah, and protein is one of the top three deficiencies in the U.S. as well. So you would never think ah. so with as much uh, meat as we eat in America. Uh, it just goes to show that you know assimilation is everything. So if you're not absorbing it, it doesn't really matter how much you eat. Um, so, and one thing I want to note, Tate, about the hemp seed protein that, um, that I love, and this is where the rubber meets the road in the difference of manufacturing and quality. Uh, many people who manufacture products, of course, when, it, when the decision comes to quality versus, um, uh, um, what's it called? Um, profit. That's the word. Right. <laughs> The rain, the rain is freezing my brain up today. That's um, okay. So yeah, when you're you're faced between those two, you know, oftentimes too many people take the wrong route, and um, you know, and then we kind of pay the price. So one of the things I remember asking Jeff is, hey, can you get this in and put this in this type of bag, like the fibers in? And you know, one of the reasons that, and it's it costs a lot more to do it this way, to put it in these amber glasses and shipping the whole thing. And he wasn't willing to sacrifice the fact that it can affect the fats in the hemp. And if it, you know, it really keeps them safe and protected. So just so you know, like this, that's the kind of quality standards. The other thing I want to talk about is when you look at your bottle, you have 10 labels on here. And I know, I know what people have to go through to just get one of those. Um, right. The, this, the, the red tape is insane. And really quickly, Jeff, Hemp seed, they're not allowed. What's not allowed in America? Just tell everybody really quickly, just because a lot of people don't understand the red tape. You, you can't grow it here because uh, and you, there is virtually no U.S. manufacturer of nutritional and industrial hemp. 
um, almost every single uh, leading country that's out there that you, you can they, they have some kind of industry related to it um, we are conspicuously absent in that the assertion is that it is that the plants are going to be indistinguishable from a medical slash recreational you know marijuana and yet if you pose the question to somebody you say well that I don't you know I don't understand how that is why is it that Canada can distinguish it how come Hungary can distinguish it how come Australia can distinguish it Great Britain you know Germany why is it that all of these guys how come they're smart enough to be able to know these but you don't think that we are and yet we're supposed to be like a leading industry country it's nonsense it's it's just intentional yeah there's and no. stubbornness and suppression. That's so the, the amount of work that you have to go to, I mean, we, you source this from Canada, correct? Your, your, correct. Where you get your hemp is. Yeah. Um, and which Jeff is very directly involved with. This is not just, you're not just sourcing it from somebody. Right. Um, so, and then I want to talk about all these labels and how you came to those. I, really quickly, Jeff has a pretty powerful story too. Um, I tend to find a lot of manufacturers who, you know, I think that's where it comes from, right? We all had our own health il illnesses or ailments and, and it brought us to wanting to make a change and make a difference in the world. Um, so I know cancer has been very prevalent in your life and in your family. Yeah. Um, very intensely. Um, and so, you know, I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, Jeff would not let a hair pass by that would even uh, affect the product's quality and that I know it's that clean and that protective for people. So, and that's of personal experience from Jeff that, you know, your standards are that high. So, cause honestly, probably some of those labels you could have not gone through the rigmarole that you had to go through to get those, but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, every, everything that's out there is all all done to help assure people of something that's clean and pure. And and the whole goal, you know, may, maybe as we've discussed before, is just to get things that are, you know, pesticide, herbicide, fungicide, humanicide free, uh, and um, that aren't Franken foods. That should be so easy. That should be the easiest, simplest thing that anyone can do. It sh you shouldn't have to think about it. It should be taken for granted. It should be the most mellow, nonchalant thing that someone can obtain. And yet, our whole food chain is so toxic and has become so corrupted, and we just kind of lost it. You know, right. really lost right. our way as a country over these years that now manufacturers and people like me, and there's tons of other people out there, all have to go through steps to try and assure that stuff is looking clean and you're exactly right each one of those certs all has a, a a cost associated with it bylaws associated with it all these different things and really it's all just meant to uh to help assure people that there's you know things that that are are nice and clean yeah. you should be able to do it and there's there's other things uh i don't even those are the main ones. I do independent testing on a lot of different stuff, kind of whenever I feel like it. Uh, one of the things that's nice about the area that we live in is it's chock full of these incredible labs that mm -hmm. can kind of handle anything. So at any given time, anything that I source, any material, all my manufacturers all know that if I buy something and I do a random test on it and it comes back funky, they don't get paid. That's it, you know, and I'll, if I have to, I'll burn that relationship permanently because they're no good to me anyways. I just need to keep things clean. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That kind of quality and standards are hard to find nowadays. And like you said, it's unfortunate the, uh, the rigmarole and the red tape should be reversed. We should be, uh, our government and us, we should, there should be a standard of, you're going to put what in my food? That that's should right. be the difference. It shouldn't be, uh, can we not put that in our food? Um, so unfortunately, but the way that we remedy that and the way that I remedy it is that you vote with your dollars and you buy products like this and you keep manufacturers in business that do this. This is where the rubber meets the road. That's where the change happens is Absolutely. by what we keep going. Um, yeah. You know, the government's doing a great job right now of putting small farmers out of business, all kinds of things so that they can, they can keep a monopoly going. And this is the way we can change that. So um, I love that your product is getting put in all kinds of stores everywhere. I see it everywhere. I travel a lot and 
I Thank see it you. a lot. So um, for anybody who uh, wants to get it off his website, um, if you want to help get it into stores locally by you, you can also do that as well. Um, feel free to contact Jeff and he will help work with you and with that store to get it in there. We would I would love to see that. I would love to. Let's infiltrate. Let's make. We're warriors. That's what we're doing. We're making a That's change. It. Yeah. So, um, and Jeff, what is the shipping thing on your website? I know you have some insane, I don't know how you do it, kind of shipping thing, right? Uh, you mean just uh, the customer's first program where it's like like uh, 50 bucks? I yeah. try to keep it really low. Yeah, you know, the whole thing, most of the prices, they're all set. They're all adjusted to really help compensate for shipping. But, you know, there's so much that can interfere with customers and a good quality product, you know, not every buyer is is very aggressive for nutrition. Some of them are wonderful. You have people that are fantastic, that make great choices, and you have other people that just that just don't for a whole variety of different reasons, whether they've been doing it for years or they're not health conscious or, you know, there's all kinds of things. So right. I I just wanted to try to come up with ways that we can really connect with people and do that uh, just to make sure that they always know that they're first. It's about quality and it's about them. Everything else is all just extra. It's all just gravy. As long as I get people that want to be healthy, stuff that they need to be healthy, and I give them a better choice than anything else that's out there, that's that's cool. And I yeah. feel like I've done my part. So part that's of the awesome. customers, yeah. Do you um, have um, special shipping setup or things like that when you order off your website? Is there certain fees or anything like that? Uh, you know, the the uh, the setup that we have, like that I just do it through Amazon because everybody knows Amazon. They feel really comfortable with it. A lot of people already have accounts set up with them. It provides yeah. great track record, feedback, etc. That that for me is the best way to do it. And so we just keep it at a flat 50 bucks um, and just say, hey, you know, anything past, anything $50 or over and it's free shipping. Um, That's sometimes awesome. I can yeah, sometimes I get burned a little bit, but you know, other times it's just a great deal, and it it all balances out. And I think it's just the right way to go. Yeah, I, I think that if you're there for people and you treat them the way that you want to be treated, the rest of it just kind of takes care of itself. I really, Absolutely. really believe that. Absolutely great. I want to talk quickly about your fiber and why it's a little different than um, some other fibers. Um, yeah. One of the things I love is this fiber. If I'm going to describe it kind of just in a in layman's terms, is I think of it as my scrub brush for my colon because yeah. uh, it has more of an abrasive nature to it to kind of clean out the um, the lining of the of your intestines. So I really like that. So it's a little different than being um, being bulking or mucilaginous like a chia yeah. seed would be. Um, so is that, is that accurate, Jeff? Do I have that right? Oh yeah, totally. Totally. Okay. That's, it's, you know, that's what I love so much about the product. It's, it's like the best of three different categories. You have, you know, there's usually kind of, they're kind of polarized. You have clays, which are super aggro. They all have great properties. Um, you know, but they, they grab onto different stuff. I love them, but they have a little couple of hangups. Um, but you know, sometimes the benefit is totally worth it. Um, that's great. Um, you have mucilaginous um, uh, substances that are more like sort of your softy, you know, kind of buddy fibers, and and they're great. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your insolubles, and this is, to me, this is kind of like the best of all three worlds. And um, I I started working on that product actually after attending a lecture from Charlotte Gerson because she had said in that lecture, and they and now it's kind of cool because they have the same the same quote that has showed up on uh, on Food Matters. At the time, that was the only time I had heard it, and I just sat and I listened to one that she had done, and it was uh, uh, just phrased you know, along the lines of, okay, so if all you just get in is really great stuff and great juices, et cetera, et cetera, but you're not helping your body to flush things out and to get them out quicker and to do that faster, well, then you only have half a therapy. And I was like, ah! You're totally right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's crazy. It was like, you're exactly right. And I had had this product scheduled and, you know, a little bit on the farther burner and I, you know, behind two or three other things I wanted to do. And that weekend I came back and I made it the very first thing. I started working with, you know, different grinders. And uh, this was like the third time, third time's a charm. And I just love it. It does so much. And it's like, 
you know, it's a, such a good price. So if somebody yeah. wants to be able to use a lot, it doesn't break the bank. It's you yeah. can go crazy with all it. your all your awesome. prices are ridiculously amazing. So you. that's not even. And you know, as I say a lot, you you're going to pay now or you're going to pay later. So really, you know, switching your finances and your money over to superfoods and things like this. You know, the I think just the amount of energy you get, uh, you know, comes back twofold in your productivity in life. So absolutely, you know, it's all a win-win. But I love this, and it's raw. Um, that's another big difference too. It's Lately. raw. It's alive. Yep. It's not heated. Um, so yeah, that's a big difference. And I I always recommend both kinds of fiber and different sources. But I always do um, Jeff's best hemp raw super fiber formula in most of my smoothies. I always try to get it in at one of them during the day. Oh, good, good. So, and then I just want to ask about the hemp seed oil. Uh, how is that different? Uh, if we can just give a quick blurb on how to use that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a cold filtered hemp seed oil. So that cold filtration, what it means in short is that when the seeds are harvested, they, you know, they bring them in through the thresher and then basically they're just pressed. Um, if you have a, an oil that is not run through some type of a small mesh or anything like that, anything that's on the outside of the husk is going to get pressed into that seed oil. And what that means is anything in the area that can go on the outside of that husk, anything that could come in contact with it, whether it's dust, soot, uh, pollen, particulate matter, anything that could or could not be sprayed, anything that could drift, anything. Uh, just goes in with those seeds and is pressed and concentrated into it and then goes straight into a bottle. And I just, I've always been very bothered by that. I don't like that. And so uh, this hemp seed oil uh, I produce is cold filtered. It's run through a one micron particle size filter. Uh, a one micron particle size, like to give a point of reference for red blood cells, about five to seven. So uh, it goes through a little step filtration and it gets out any of the sediment, any of the soot, any of the gunk, anything that can be, you know, really contained in there. So you just get this gorgeous, like pristine, really clean, raw hemp seed oil. Um, it's all done in small batches. It goes straight into glass, so there's no BPA, no xenoestrogens, nothing that's, you know, gunky, nothing that can screw you up. And um, that way it also has extra freshness, too. So... Uh, awesome. it, and it, it affects the purity, it affects the flavor. Give us uh, a couple of quick ideas on how you use it. I like to tell people to put it on their as their salad dressing. Oh, yeah. Um, I put some in my smoothies. Any other great ideas or tips you can give us? Oh, man. You know, just anything. Uh, you put it in your smoothies. You can put it in, like, it's, it's a great add-in if you do kind of like raw soups. Um, I know some people, like... Uh, you know, there's probably less healthy choices you could do, like sprinkling it. I think someone told me on like toast or something. I was like, uh, I don't know what <laughs> no, to do. That's good. We'll stick with what we know. I, I like those better. Yeah. But um, yeah, also but, a great uh, thing to give to kids. Um, you know, really good to give to them. And it ta it has like a nutty taste to it. It doesn't taste right. bad. That's what's great. It's it tastes good. Yeah, it's a it's got a really easy flavor to it. And you know, there's tons of really there's different styles of healthy fats that are out there and part of the things that is really unique about hemp seed oil is one that it is exclusively the only oil like the only EFA that you could use if you had access to nothing else except hemp oil you could use that every day in therapeutic amounts and you wouldn't create a deficiency in your your body's balance of three six nine ratios there's no other oil we know of currently that can do that that's, that's the huge. only one yeah. yeah, and there's, you know, the World Health Organization has validated this. Uh, Udo Erasmus has validated this, even has it in his own book. And this is somebody with his own product line, you know, that, that has a blend of other oils that's heavier in omega-3. And in his own book, he says that hemp is the very best source of anything that you can get. And I was like, okay, that's, I kind of have everything I needed to know from that. And that's what's so cool about it. It also has a good high uh, for lipophilic. Um, uh, like antioxidants, it has a very good ratio. You know, pumpkin does great, and hemp seed oil does great in terms of their ORAC value. They have a really good, clean um, kind of just ORAC profile to it. It's awesome. And lipophilic meaning it, it's kind of protecting your fat from the oxidation, right? Is that what you're uh, talking yeah, about, or what does it do? 
yeah, lipophilic just means fat soluble, hydrophilic is water soluble, and then you have like tannins, which is the third category of antioxidants. So yeah, yeah just fat soluble, lipo. Lipophilic. Yeah, that's okay. I just like to keep it simple <laughs> for people so they're like, what the heck is that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Awesome, Jeff. Thank you so much. And um, one last question. The difference yep. between how much um, fats you're getting in the hemp, the dried hemp protein versus the oil, what's the, um, you know what I'm talking about, like per serving, how much yeah. different is it? Uh, you know, the there is a, an okay amount the, uh, that's there in the protein. I mean, you're getting a, a pretty decent you know, a little bundle for something that you're, you know, is dominantly protein and minerals and things like that. Uh, the, just the pure oil itself is going to give you way more, uh, way more of your omega-369 fatty acids. I actually haven't sat down and mathematically computed. That's okay. Like one, yeah, one I mean, tablespoon versus the other, but yeah. you could get a nice supplementary add-in uh, amount with the protein that is going to contribute towards that but it wouldn't be something you could consider a therapeutic dose okay. uh, as opposed to, say, the cold filtered oil, like a couple of tablespoons, and you've, you've really gotten a nice dose for what you need to have more of a, a therapeutic amount for that day. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I appreciate it and um, your time, and I really appreciate the work you do. Um, so, yeah, thank you for keeping our food supply clean and providing, <laughs> <laughs> providing right. us with an excellent resource. Um, so do you have anything you want to say, anything closing, anything about Z3, anything at all you want to comment to, to all the viewers? Oh, goodness. You know, I just love what you're doing, and I really appreciate you just taking time to chat with me and go over some of the details. And, yeah, uh, I, I, I appreciate your appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. And like I said, I've known Jeff for a long time now and it's just, it's so great. And, you know, you know, when people are, when they live, they walk their walk and they talk their talk and, you know, I've watched it and you're the real deal. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Welcome. All right, Jeff. Thanks. All right, Z3 Warriors, get your hemp seed oil and get your hemp protein and your hemp fiber. Bye. Cool. Bye. <laughs>